Today we're going to learn how to subtract three digit numbers. Let's start. So we have our first sum. We have 543 minus 236. When we subtract three digit numbers, always be mindful of the place value. Remember to write the hundreds, tens, and ones in the correct order, which means stack up your ones in the same column, stack up your tens in the same column, and stack up your hundreds in the same column. Always remember that we have to start at the ones column. So we start with the ones column, then we move on to the tens calculation. Finally, we arrive at the hundreds. So let's start working out with the ones column. Now, in the ones column, do you notice something odd? We have to take away a larger number from a smaller number. We should take away 6 from 3, which is impossible because we cannot take away 6 from 3. But we don't have to worry about that. Every problem has a solution. So what we're going to do is we are going to ask help from our tens friend, which means we are using a strategy called borrowing. So we are borrowing a 10 from our tens friend, which is 4. So he's giving us a 10 and we write that 10 here which means we no longer have 3 here, we have 13 here. Now, our tens friend here gave us one ten. So, do we have a complete four tens here? No, we don't. We only have 3 now. So, we're going to cut it out and we're going to write 3 at the top. Now, let's work on our ones calculation. So, 13 minus 6. 13 minus 6 is equal to 7. So, we write 7 under our 1's calculation. Now, it's time for us to move to the 10's calculation. Remember, we don't have 4 10's anymore. We only have 3 10's. So, what is 3 minus 3? That is zero, so we write it under the tens column. And we finally move on to our hundreds column. 500 subtract 200 is equal to 300. So we have the answer as 307. Let's do our second calculation now. This time we have 285 minus 149. So we have written all the ones in a straight line, the tens in a straight line, and the hundreds in a straight line. We start at the ones. We have 5 minus 9, the same problem. We can't take away a larger number from the smaller number. So we go to our tens friend and borrow a 10 from our friend. So let's borrow one, and now we have. 15 here. We no longer have 5 but 15 because we borrowed a 10 from our friend. So our 10's friend does not have 8 anymore. He has only 7 with him. Now let's work on our 1's calculation. So we have 15 minus 9. That is 6. Now we move on to our 10's calculation. So we have 7 tenths minus 4 tenths. 7 minus 4 is 3. And we move on to our hundreds calculation, which is 200 minus 100. That is 1. So we have our answer as 136. So as you notice in both of these sums, we changed the ones calculations. We borrowed from the tens friend and changed our ones calculation. 
Here it's the same. We borrowed from our tens friend and changed our ones calculation. Now, let's move a little further. Our third calculation has 838 minus 255. We're starting at the ones, then we move to the tens, finally we go to the hundreds. So, let's start at the ones calculation. We have 8 minus 5. Oh, that's not a problem, because we have to take away 5 from 8. So, 8 minus 5 is 3. Now, let's go to our tens calculation. Uh-oh, look at the tens calculation. This time we have to take away 5 tens from 3 tens. 5 tens from 3 tens. Well, 5 is larger than 3. So, what do we do? We this time go to our hundreds friend for help. So we borrow a hundred from our tens friend. So let's ask. So he's giving us that. And now we have 13 tens here. 13 subtract 5 is equal to 8. But look at our hundreds now. Our hundreds friend gave us a hundred, so we don't have eight hundreds anymore. We only have seven hundred. So what is seven minus two? That is five. So we have 583 as our answer. Let's do one more in this format. So we have 222 minus 137. The ones calculation. 2 minus 7. 2 minus 7. So, we have to take away a larger number from a smaller number. Not possible, but now we know that we have to borrow from our tens friend and then we get 12. So, 12 minus 7 is then we know that our tens friend here, our tens friend here no longer has two, he only has one ten. So what is one minus three? What is one minus three? Can we do that? But we don't have to worry. We can always get help from our hundreds friend. So let's borrow a hundred from him. So we write one here. Now we have eleven ten. minus three. What is eleven minus three? We get eight. Now, boys and girls, our hundreds friend no longer has two hundred. He has only a hundred because he gave a hundred to our friend here. So, what is one minus one? Zero. So, we have our answer as 85. We get the answer as 85. Now, it's your time to work on some sums on your own. Here you go. Now, it's your time to work on these sums alone.